Hi everybody, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with the August 2021 reading for Aquarius. So bottom of the deck is three of swords. What happened Aquarius? Something went wrong. Mm. Thought about basically the life you wanted to build, right? So let's see what we have in the month of August for you. So month of August for Aquarius. Wow. Somewhere I feel that uh, Aquarians, you you're done with control. That's what I feel. You're done with either you have been controlling or people have been controlling you. There's something around control issues. Work you're still balancing. Your aims are absolutely fine and you are wanting to move forward. You're making an effort to move forward. Okay. So what we have for Aquarians in August first week is a lot of generosity. Maybe you'll be generous to someone. Maybe you'll be generous to people around you, your family. Maybe you will be doing a lot of donations, that kind of an energy. But at the same time, do donate. Do be generous to everybody, but take care of your money, Aquarius. That is what I'm feeling intuitively. Don't go overboard, okay? It's not bad karma to draw a line when you're donating or draw a line when you're giving people. You have to draw a line. This is my money and this is the money I want to donate. That is, you have to compartmentalize everything. So you have, you please compartmentalize your, okay? money because if you don't then you will feel a little lack of money because there is too much money gone then right so no harm in setting a boundary that is not bad karma okay no harm in being a little selfish so the second week is a little confusing time where you will not be able to decide uh, whether to take up a job or take up a project or take up work that kind of energy so the second week is all confusion and this confusion is not coming from anywhere. It's your own thing. It's your own fears. Maybe you are not wanting to see. Like I'll show you the card. You're not wanting to see because it scares you. There's a, there are fears. And see, I see a moon behind. Can you see a moon behind here? I feel it's more to do with your fears and your emotional self. So something about that that will make you step back in your work. Okay. Now... The third week, the third week is a transformation time where you are transforming, uh, your work is transforming, your whole energy is transforming, the transformation is going to be for good. This change could be a change when you might start tra traveling, there's money coming in, I remove an extra card. I think this transformation will get you money, work, stability in your life. So it's a good transformation. Anyway, any transformation in our life is not easy. So nothing comes easy, nothing comes free in our life. It is a ground rule. So there is a transformation happening. A lot of money, a lot of good changes will come in the third week. And the fourth week is a little pressure. You might feel pressure around your home home life, family life, you might feel a pressure around your bosses, your office. If you don't have a boss, then it could be a, a business person, maybe who's a little elder to you, that you might feel a little pressure from. So to get, I'll give a small remedy to get rid of pressures is just do Om Surya Nama in the morning before 12 o'clock. That will really help. So if you do that, that will help. Uh, this is something to do with your home life too. So take care. I feel there will be some pressure around work, some pressure around your family life. Fourth week. So I think the month of August is fairly okay. I will say good also because the transformation is coming and the transformation is for your benefit. So yeah, not bad, right? Not bad. So let's see what we have in our relationship area. Okay. Relationship area, Aquarius. Up till now, I feel that you were refusing to heal. 
you were refusing to come out of your mind and you were refusing to basically change the situation at Aquarius. I feel that way. There's a lot of block sacred chakra. You're, you're not wanting to receive love or give love. Because your sacral is connected to your heart. Remember this. Times are not very good. I'll tell you why. Because I'm not trying to scare. It is a general reading. If it does not resonate with you, please let it go. Times are not very good for Aquarians in the relationship area. There is challenging time. Also because it is your own issue. See, when I tell people it's your issue, people might get angry. They become egoistic. But everything starts from us, finishes with us only. Somewhere all your chakras are blocked. Literally, your heart chakra is blocked. Your sacral is blocked. Your throat chakra is the only thing that is not blocked right now. And your throat chakra is activated. Maybe you will speak out your truth and... People will not like it. Somewhere even you are not wanting to change the situation. You are only talking about it. Okay. Things will only change because there is challenging time in your relationship. It's not a very easy time. There is challenging time in your relationship. And you are refusing to heal. The healing card is upside down. So you have to somewhere do an inner check Aquarius. Inner check is very very important in your relationship area. Work on your heart and sacral chakra. I have chakra healing videos and I am planning to make more new uh, videos of chakra healing. I feel that healing yourself, refusing to heal yourself or doing an inner check will be a problem because if you don't, we don't know where we are going wrong. Suppose I have a high level of, give me an example, I have an, a high level of insecurity and I'm always blaming my relationship to be insecure, my husband to be insecure, my boyfriend to be insecure. So somewhere I am mirroring my issue in others and if I am not looking inside of me right now, I will not be able to change this whole scenario. So if you want a change, if you want things to blossom in the month of August, you have to work off on yourself. What I feel is you will get your well-deserved reward in the month, but only if you work on yourself. So somewhere if you are acknowledging your issues, your relationship will be smoother. If you're not, maybe the issues between due to or your own issues, then only your relationship is going to be smooth. Otherwise not. Sorry. It's a general reading. I have to be honest. Okay. So let's see what fairy message we have for you all. Okay. So one fairy message for Aquarius in the month of August. Celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance, play. An invitation could be the way. So maybe in the month of August. So celebration also signifies... Maybe you need to celebrate, you've been isolated or maybe you uh, you were feeling very low and you stopped celebrating in your life. Or this could mean that if you step out of your comfort zone, if you go out and in, because it's written an invitation, so somebody might invite you over or maybe people have been inviting you and you, you did not go somewhere, stepping out of your comfort zone might change the energy and that is something you need to change about yourself maybe you're too much into yourself you've not been talking to people or maybe you've not been stepping out so stepping out will also give you some healing and meeting people talking to people celebrating you know doing all that which is very difficult in our covid times but people are meeting like few people I see they meet at somebody's house and if you're invited or maybe online meetings are happening so somewhere I feel you need to come out of your comfort zone that is intuitively that that's what I feel okay that's a beautiful message from the fairies and don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon don't forget to follow me on twitter facebook instagram I put a lot of stuff there and share it with family and friends and call me for paid appointments only Email me for paid appointments only at White Light Healing Center with the ER at gmail.com and stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye, God bless. Bye-bye.